Hi everybody, this is Jeff from Nerve Systems, and I'm here again for another episode of Tips and Tricks with Nerve Agent. Today we're going to talk a little bit about mastering with Nerve Agent using a new feature called Chain Flipping. Chain Flipping is a unique feature with Agent 1.4, and it allows you to A-B full sets of eight plugins. That's a great feature for mastering or for live performance on a DJ setup where you want to quickly listen to or have the audience hear quick changes between uh, sets of effect. So here's how it works. First thing we want to do is go into our preferences panel and go to the advanced tab, the live section and we want to make sure that enable chain flipping is selected. So once that's done, what we're going to have is uh, where it will only play the effects that are on the currently selected channel strip or effects rack. So let's go ahead on our channel strip and load up our first mastering chain. So here we're listening to a Native Instruments Passive EQ, uh, the Waves SSL Bus Comp, uh, Stereo Imager, and the SK Note, uh, the uh, Round Tone Tape Emulation. Then we'll go ahead, we'll jump over to the rack, and what you'll immediately hear is you're not hearing any of those effects anymore because we don't currently have any plugins in the effects rack. So let's load up Mastering 2. Now we have the Novatec character, the SPL Passive EQ, a Waves Rothschild 670 uh, emulation, and the Fab Filter Pro L. So with both of these loaded up now, we can easily and quickly just alternate between the two by clicking on effects rack or channel strip. Then as we play around with the various components on each of those, we're gonna hear the impact. We can also bypass agent entirely. So this is the raw track. This is with this mastering chain on it. We go back to the uh, effects rack. And again, we can do the same thing. If we're bypassed, you're gonna, not gonna hear any change in between these because of course the agent is not processing audio. Turn it back on. So there you have it. There's not a lot to show here uh, because it's a pretty simple feature. Uh, one of the things to remember is that uh, chain flipping is a global setting. So what that means is that it affects the current and the next instance of agent. So if we go back into here, we look at our advanced settings. While chain flipping is enabled, uh, the current instance of agent is going to be in chain flipping mode. And if we open up a new instance of agent, it will also be in chain flipping mode. So if you want to have just one instance of agent in chain flipping mode, set, uh, you open it up, you set chain flipping, that will set it for the next one. You open up the next instance of agent and then disable this and it'll disable it on that on that next plugin and for any future ones. So that is chain flipping in a nutshell. We'll be interested to see how you guys like it. Uh, send us your feedback uh, on uh, our website and we'll be back again soon with another episode of Tips and Tricks. Thanks so much for all your support and uh, we're looking forward to showing you some new things coming out with agent xl uh, i think i just said that out loud right agent xl is the next feature or the next uh it's really agent 1.5 uh 
but it's a massive, massive uh, upgrade from the current instance of agent. You'll hear more about it as we go forward. Thanks, guys. Talk to you soon. Thanks.